Hello everybody, welcome to my channel again. Another year, another MOT, and a whole week's work this time. I didn't take me long to get the van back in the garage, get it all done. I um, had a few things to do, nothing drastic, but just a, a whole week's work before I could book it back in for the re MOT. There I am in the garage, getting sorted, ready to start work. Anyway, it was advised not to leave the garage because it had a leaking brake pipe. I'm glad he discovered that because it was about to blow at any minute. I had the windscreen damaged and it was a hell of a crack and it had to be changed. The headlamp pane, which I'd done against the barn door, hopefully it is okay. And well, it was, it's passed now. Uh, three tyres, he said, near the legal limit. They were all at six millimetres, so I hadn't bothered to change them because they went over the limit. And um, a few other jobs I had, I'll talk about them as I go through, showing the process. Anyway, here I am, I made a list up of the jobs to do. Before I had it, I turned the van round. I had the windscreen fitted. I had a professional come fit, a new windscreen. Then I put the van in, and I jacked her up, took the tank off, and out come the brake kit. I got the pipe, I got all the pipe here, all the fittings. Funny enough, the two fittings I needed I never had, so I put the old ones back on, as you'll notice in a minute when you see the pipes underneath the van fitted. And you got that little kit there was about 12 quid, I think. It's magic for making all your own parts. I've made loads of pipe pipes now, and um, away you go. Anyway, you can see the drum there, that's got diesel in it. And the dustbin, that's got diesel in it. Of course, I've got to jack the van up, and I've got to have the tank off. And what have I got in the tank? A full tank of diesel. Anyway, I've done the brake and then I, I invented a little trick for bleeding the brakes now as well, which was magic. I might post a, uh, a video on that sometime. I uh, discovered a really quick way of doing the brakes without all this um, kit for doing it and all this pump off the pump, pump off the pump, you know, while you're opening shut the spanner. Anyway, there's the windscreen, brand spanking new, all new trim. And um, the top there, you can see I'm not putting those um, roof rack guards back on anymore. This old van now, he's been on the road now for about seven years. I've had no rust come back through, but anybody who followed my videos knows it's all wax rod. And she's in really good condition. I did have a little bit of welding that I'd done before I put her in for MOT. It was a couple of spot welds. Um, it's gone. I, I just cleaned them and tied them. But every year I check the MOT and re-undersit her, which is what I've done this year. Anyway, if I, anybody who watched my videos doing this van out, remember how I had to rebuild around the fuel tank? Well, that was all rusted. I never cut the rust out. Look, seven years later, the rust has not got wet because I treated it, and it hasn't rusted anymore. And it looks as if, well, you wouldn't guess I'd, I'd actually rebuilt that up. Anyway, it wasn't hard work doing the van for the MOT, it was just being at, at my age now and, and coming on 72, getting up and down underneath. If he was on a ramp in the garage, the, the work I had to do would have been a doddle. But I'm not, and look at my little garage, I can get the car up in the air enough. So I put all new brakes on this year, by the way. All new brakes, brand new hand cable, hand brake cable, and um, all be under sealed. The only thing I've left to do now she's MOT. I have the MOT now. She's back on the road. I I've actually put all this back in the van now, ready to go down the boat. That's blue for the boat, gas bottle for the boat, and a load of other stuff. But um, all the tires, as I say, they were all there's one of them. <laughs> they were all given as advisory, getting near the legal limit. But um, three of them were on six millimeters. And um, this one here, as I say, that one I just showed you just now was on about eight or nine. But they're all legal, I'm not worried about them for now, they'll ask me this year. Anyway, there's the garage. There's the handbrake cables I've changed. I saw a state, my garage always gets an estate when I work. But there you go. Anyway, tank went back up easy enough. I, um, there's a little um, vent. On the return pipe to the tank, I broke it, but thank God I got two spare bands at the front, so I replaced it with parts off of that. 
But anyway, it's a simple matter. Put the jack on, put it back up, and the tank in the escort comes out dead easy. And then the fun of siphoning. First of all, I had to scoop the diesel out of the dustbin. It was a brand new dustbin, by the way. Out of the dustbin and into the five gallon drums. And of course, the little jug I'm using, the handle goes and snaps. So, I had a rag I got covered, my hands were filthy. Anyway, a few minutes, I soon had the, the dustbin in position with the five gallon drum on top and putting the fuel back in, as I say, full tank. So, I'm not quite sure what I was filming there. Myself, by the look of it. Oh, I'm walking round there, that's the second drum of diesel going in. As I say, that the, the um, you can see the speed it goes down at. It's, um, siphoning is never quick, depends what size hose you got, and so on and so on. Anyway, like I say, and I need a cup of tea because I've got it in my mouth. Blah, blah, blah. The second go at that is not nice. And don't go on about the state of my cup. I've been out in this shed working, and I don't have time to wash cups. I just about got time to run in and make cups of tea. Anyway, there's time now where where that look that goes across the front of the windscreen. I don't know what you call it, spat I call it. All that is in good nick. All under the windscreen was in good nick when I put it in. But I wax oil everything. So here I am. I've already took the wax oil in and um I've had that jug now. I've done four four vehicles with that wax oil. Preheated the wax oil so as I can tip it in a little jug and before it goes hard, paint it on. I know there's nothing wrong with the paintwork, but there will be if damp gets at it or keeps getting at it. But wax oil, every year I touch it up and it just stops it from ever getting rusty. There, all along there, all just underneath the barrel. Then the trim can go back on and that ain't never going to see any water. The wax oil will get water on it, but the paint won't. Anyway, there's the van, she looks quite nice, but um, she look a little bit better when I finish. That's the new wiper blades, that was another thing she fell on. New wiper blades. They, I got them, that won't bad, my mate got me them on his contract. You've already seen the MOT, and as I say, the brake pipe's done. I um, made your job out of the way, the windscreen's done. And now it's time to wash her over. I've got a couple of days before I can take her back in for the MOT. She's booked in. So out comes the old um, wet and dry and a sponge. I'm, I think that's about a thousand paper I'm rubbing her all over with. Anybody who watched my videos, they know I do these vans up to be in good condition, safe and legal on the road. I don't do them up as classic cars. I could so easily get them sprayed over, but I don't need to. They are what they are, they're my vehicles, I love them, and they, they don't never let me down. And, alright, washing a car over, fair enough, but um, she's had six, seven years on the road now without me doing anything to her. I, I don't never ever wash her. So it's time to give her a wash while I've got a few days waiting for the MOT. But they are a thousand all over with lots of soap. They are, she's done all over now and all the soap and the stuff's gone hard and dry. And uh, that's it. But it's took her down smooth. Right, now for the jiff cut. You've heard of tea cut? Well, tea cut, you've got to do in little bits at a time. And if you don't rub it off at the right time, anyone who's used it, you know it's a pig to rub off. Well, jiff cut, take it from me. You do your whole vehicle over. It's like um, a bit like C4 cutting compound. It's jiff. Your wife uses it. We all use it. Well, sift it's called now. There it is, I go all over the van with it with this little sponge. Not, not Nothing hard, but just all over. As I say, the paintwork on the red escort's not brilliant. It always looks brilliant, red always does. But um, you, it, it doesn't have to look good, it just needs to be a little bit flat. So as I can get it down and she looks clean, and she lasts me another year before I wash her again. There it is. Yeah. Well, Vim, that one, isn't it? <laughs> but it's, anyway, it's a cream cleaner. And um, I swear by this stuff. Now, I can sit back. I can leave that in the garage now for three days. And it, when I come out, it just wash off. Tea cut is hard work. Anyway, now it comes to the hose pipe. I, the car is 60, 70 feet, 80 feet away 
from the hose pipe, and I've only got a little hose pipe. God alive, I've only got about 20 foot of hose pipe. How the hell can I get that to reach all the way down the bottom of the garden? You wait and see. Anyway, plug it in. Do it up on the tap. This is inside the house because we don't have one outside. I need to put one outside sometime. There's my plant, by the way. Love my plant. God, I grew that from about six inches from a cutting. She's lovely. I speak to her. She, she, if, when I'm away, she dies and all the leaves drop down. When I come back, she's up proud. She misses me. Anyway, there's the, the, the water's turned on now. Make sure the pressure's off, the, the tap's off on the gun. And the pressure now will build up inside the hose. So as I open the fuel up, you'll see fuel. As I let the water in, you'll see the pipe will stretch. I help it stretch because at this point now I want to get it in the bath and tie it around the tap. So if there's any leaking out of the, the joint on the, the outlet there, the water will run down the pipe and into the bath. Because this pipe don't leak at all, never leaks all over. I can run it through the house, it never leaks in the house, it never leaks on the driveway. Anyway, there she is, fully expanded. And that 20 foot grows into about 100 foot. If you haven't got one of these hose pipes, they're no good if you use the hose a lot, because they wear out, so I'm told. But this one, for 20 quid, look at the length of it now. Now I've got, And it still ain't fully grown yet. Now I've got to take it all down wall with the camera in my hand. Got to try and make me way down the curtain with it. And there you go. But there it is, all the way down round the van. With with loads to spare. Anyway, I don't want to do too much with the O's. With me daps on. Yeah, little trainers. It's inside the van to get the weathers out. Yeah, don't disturb me. I'm living happy ever after. I will be before long. Anyway. I soon got me wellies on. Near us watching me. Where's our dad going now with his wellies on? And the missus is sat there on her bloody PC gambling as always. So, still, anyway, back out in the garden. Out with the hose. And wash it all over. The next thing now will be a coat of polish. Why polish an old man like this? With all the blemishes and Oh, body work that needs doing. It's at the right state, but why polish it? Why polish it? You know the reasons for painting, don't you? There's three reasons. One is for protection, the other is for hygiene, and the other is for beauty. Well, I don't mind going with the first two, but beauty? I'm not worried about that, nor the beast. Anyway, looks like my video's froze. I hope it ain't froze for too long. But uh, here I go. I'm wiping her off now. Or washing her over and, and as I say with the hose after I've wet her down now I'm wiping her with the cloth to wash all of them off and because um, you need her dry now for polishing so cloth is it better for um, washing her off and getting all of the, the, the said <laughs> residue off than, than a sponge there's the old white van I think she sat there crying she wants to be back on the road but her turn to come one day, but there's no rush. I, I don't bother chopping the vans about year after year now because I find that the white van now, if I put it on the road, the brakes will be all stiff. Yeah, no time for polish. Anyway, but as I say, the brakes will be all stiff, so I just leave the white van there. She's ready for me to use her whenever I need her. Anyway, last light of the day. And now she can go in the garage and trip drive. I left her sat there for the rest of the night. And then as the late night come in, before I went to bed, I put her in the garage to leave her to dry. Drip, drip, drip. Anyway, next day, all this stopping and starting, stopping and starting in and out of the garage is um, a pig. It don't do the battery a lot of good, so the bonnet's stuck up now because i got the battery charger under there. But in the meantime, I'm doing the bonnet. The bonnet's the worst part on the car because when I first put her in the garage until about many years ago, I put wet carpet on the bonnet and left it and um, it brought the top coat like the glaze up and that's still peeling up to this day but as I say I keep her polished okay why polish a rust nasty surface like I was telling you about paint 
Three reasons to paint. Paint protects your bodywork. So what do you do to protect your paint? Well, me, I polish it. Don't matter whether it looks good, as long as it's protected. And it ain't hard work, but it took me an hour and a half. Here, have a look close up now. The van's been washed and scrubbed. That's little bits of paint. And I carry things on a roof and I'm working in a garden. But all these little bits are like, I could chip them all off and sand them all back. But why? It's hard work. I want to be using, not abusing. Yeah, there she is. Bit of cut of polish. Look how she looks. All right, zoom in close and you'd see all the little bits of paint. And, but you don't zoom in close. You, you look at her from a distance. Look at her. Gorgeous, my baby. Anyway, those of you who know my site and have watched this, I've done this van up from a right wreck. And I totally rebuilt, well, most of the underneath. And I never cut none of the old, I, I, what I ripped out, I ripped out by hand, but I never cut no rust out. All the old rust is still underneath, double plated either side. And, but because I protected it, it's not getting wet again. Look, seven years down the line, there's still no rust coming through. The back doors, they're not immaculate, but coat of polish. When it rains now, the rain won't um, soak into the paint, it'll all run off. Anyway, headlight aim was one of the things. I um, I lined up against the garage door and uh, I brought the beam down and in and got it roughly right. Fair play to the MOT tester. I told him I'd done it against the barn door and he'd done it for me. In there, look, that's where these go. Not this side so much, but the other side under the battery. But it's covered in wax oil every year. All right, don't look nice. You can't see that when I'm going along the road. But there she is, MOT, out of the garage, back on the drive. All she wants now is all her bits put in back in and her radio tuned. I tuned the radio wrong, didn't I? I put the wrong code in. I had to wait a half hour. But anyway, now I've recoded it and she's running perfect. Oh, and, and the camera's back in. I put uh, a new bracket up on it. I stuck the first one in with epoxy and it, it broke. So I had to get myself a new one. So now I've got a nice ring of epoxy on a brand new windscreen. Not that it matters. But there's my red escort van. Well I looked at, oh that's links by the way. There's a story to that little box. It sh shouts out, piss off dog's breath at 59 mile an hour. There's a story I could tell you about that box. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you're not subscribed now, because if you got this far, well, I hope you enjoyed the video. This is just to let you see and show that the work I've done, if you watch the work I've done on this van, that I'm not a tosser, it does work. My van's still on the road now, and for seven years I haven't had to do a thing to her. Thanks for watching anyway. Peter Rist out for now. Hope to see you all soon.